What's your full name and where are you from? Yeah, Tim Neal. We've, uh, we've got an agricultural consultancy business called precisionagriculture.com.au. Okay. And can you tell me a little about your business and um, what you do? We're an Australia-wide precision ag business. Um, we specialise in finding new technology that's of benefit to growers. Okay. Uh, we don't sell any products. We remain independent, um, but we we just provide advice and, and products and solutions for growers to help them improve their profitability. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. What was the problem you had before you found OptiServes? Uh, a lot of our cropping areas have either got you know melon hole type country or you know a, a very very flat landscapes that that have slight depressions in them. So and that creates a lot of ponding problems and hence reduced productivity and increased denitrification especially. And combined with that, like our previous work's been in controlled traffic. So we've improved soil structure with controlled traffic, but there's still these issues then of ponding in paddocks where you do get quite deep rutting with, with controlled traffic wheel tracks that, that cause problems. So yeah, that's that's been our typical issues. Okay. What concerns did you have after you found Opti Surface? I guess integration with our current software has been a been an issue. Um, considering we've we we run GIS software and this is quite different. This is more like a surveying type. I guess now that we capture the data in systems that uh, Opti Surface handles a lot better, it's very seamless. So we capture the data, put it through Opti Surface, and back it out into the same format. It's uh, really, really easy then yeah. to do that sort of things. Yeah. Okay. So we don't actually need to integrate now with our GIS as such. So, okay. Yeah. Did you have concerns about it solving the drainage problems at all? Or? No, and no, I, you know, every job we've done, we've been happy with, and um, you know, um, uh, I think the added bits too have been have been quite useful for us. The the um, the runoff modelling. Yeah. So we've done some projects, obviously in Queensland here. It's it's a massive problem to having erosion and, and that. So we've been doing projects looking at runoff directions and speed, you know, velocities and the depths of water flow in, in combination with condor banks and then also, you know, wheel tracks. So we, we position wheel tracks in the paddock and how that affects runoff yeah. has been really, yeah, quite cool. So it's been good. Okay, what were you most impressed about when you started to work with Hockey Service? Well, I guess um, probably um, the technology, you know, it's far more advanced than anything else that's on the market. I think being able to work with a natural ground slope is very important considering where the big marketplace for me is dryland agriculture, not irrigated. So doing irrigated type designs in dryland is just not feasible. You know, you're not going to go and spend a thousand bucks a hectare um, in a dryland situation. But with OptiSurface, we're getting our earthworks down to say 100 cubes per hectare, which even though it costs more per cube, you've still got to run over the country. We're getting, you know, in that order of a couple of hundred dollars a hectare, yeah. which is way different to a couple of thousand. Mm. So it's it's opening up more opportunities for more country to be um, to be brought in to fix drainage problems that they wouldn't be able to fix before with traditional laser leveling, I guess. Mm. Mm. Okay. And what are the outcomes and benefits? that were most valuable to you or your clients? Well, just shifting a lot less dirt, a lot less scalping. Um, I'm doing a lot of work in horticulture at the moment where they've, they've made billiard tables and you know, upwards of three, 400 millimetres of fill in some of these areas, absolutely ridiculous. You know, I've been trying to get them to have a look at OptiServe as, as an alternative. They're pretty fixated on, on making billiard tables with laser, mm -hmm. laser buckets. Uh, but now I'm doing all the satellite imagery for those clients. All I'm seeing is cut areas, yep. right? So massive productivity effects, loss, loss, loss of production yield because of deep it's cuts. Unbelievable, and, right? You know, and these are these are like high value crops like beans, sweet corn, mm. carrots. We're seeing all this productivity decline now because of big cuts in the landscape mm. made by laser buckets. Yeah. So you know, while it's it's been a perfect drainage solution for them, yeah, a perfect fall and all that. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's affecting the productivity. So mm -hmm. I see that OptiService is cutting, you know, a yeah. fifth of the dirt that we would have shifted with the laser bucket. Yeah. And that means less scalping. Yeah. So not only are you saving money on shifting the dirt, you're also saving, you're avoiding that reduced productivity from the scalping. Great.
Thanks for your input.